Wagwan, and this is Chatterbox, and welcome back to Chatterbox 876 TV. Do remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and like the video. Let's get into the news. For the latest updates, a man was shot and killed while another was injured in broad daylight where they were attacked at a bar in St. Mary. Poppy killed during confrontation with the police. Let's get into the news. Do remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. One man dead and another nursing gunshot wounds following a brazen daylight attack at a bar in Crocked River on Notabay, St. Mary. Dead is 31-year-old construction worker Sanjay, aka Village Stewart. His 47-year-old friend Frederick Hines was injured during the assault. Police reports indicated that Stewart Hines and Hines' brother, Navarro, a member of the Jamaica Defense Force, JDF, entered a bar in Crooked River on Tuesday, July 11th, around 4 p.m. The men reportedly made an order while Navarro handed a box lunch to the bartender. While being served, a man entered and ordered two bears. Upon being served, the man reportedly pulled a firearm and pointed it at Stewart and opened fire. The Haynes brother and the bartender escaped through the door and fled. They were reportedly chased by gunmen who were traveling in a white Axia motor car. The armed men opened fire, hitting Frederick in the arm. The men then fled the scene. Frederick was taken to the hospital where he received treatment. Stewart was, however, pronounced dead. Ah boy, it's just a pity. I always say it, you know. Sometimes it's better to stay home than be outside on the road. Because trust me, the place don't safe again. My condolences goes out to Stewart's families. In friend them, just everybody. Because it's never good. It's not a good feeling knowing that someone you're close to. I just, any human being at all losing their life like this. My condolences. A 26-year-old man from St. James, Montego Bay, was fatally shot during a confrontation with members of the Joint Anti-Gang Task Force on Tuesday. Dead is Tevon Johnson, otherwise called Papi, of Crawford Street in the parish. One pistol, along with ammunition, was also reportedly seized. The matter is being investigated by the Inspector and Professional Standard Oversight Bureau and the Independent Commissioner of Investigation, Indicom. So right now, guys, they're basically saying that more updates are to come regarding this, regarding the death of Tavon Johnson, because it's not clear to us what exactly occurred while why he Viewers was shot. and subscribers, we've come to yet another end of an informative video. Do remember to share the video, comment, subscribe, and like. Big up yourself. Bye.